News 3's First at Four. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Amy Fleming. It was certainly another very cold day if you were spending some time outdoors. Is KIMT News 3 at 5. But here's what we do know. Authorities believe both are connected to each other. KIMT News 3's Jaron Rennie has been covering the story and joins us now. Uh, Jaron, what can you tell us? Well, Amy, it all began right behind <laughs> treated for concussions each year, but a new study finds their recovery time grows longer with repeat concussions. And that's all for tonight's Covering Your Health. I'm Amy Fleming. Now your host, Amy Fleming and Matt Bradley. That's right. We already heard a little bit. They're just about to get started and move their way down the parade route here today. Let's go quick to uh, AJ Ellingson, who will be uh, along the parade route. He has... Have you ever taken Alka-Seltzer, Amy? Um, Alka-Seltzer to the rescue? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. No. Should, it, should it be flat? Nope. Th there you go. Wow. Now, depending <laughs> upon how much water you have in there will determine how quickly it goes off, how high they fly. Oh, my gosh. This is like fireworks for the 4th of July. You know? <laughs> what do you think, you try, think we should try it on yours now? Yeah. Yeah, let's try it on yours. Okay, Mom. Okay. Pick up go. the lid. This is scary. It's not scary. Okay, now put the lid on. Uh, Hold it on tight. Ready? Three, two, one. Mercy Medical Center North Iowa tells us this is the first time they've had an accident like this since they implemented their air service in 1999. KIMT News 3's Natalie Tendall is live at the scene of the incident with more details on the helicopter and its crew. He's standing by also in Albert Lee. And obviously the amount of snow you saw in your driveway and yards today really depends on where you live. Yeah, and with the first East Park is up in smoke. The annual barbecue competition is in full swing. Some area kids get some help keeping their pearly whites clean. Details in tonight's Covering Your Health. This morning. That's because the plows required some assembly. Officials say they didn't have the plows put away for the year yet, but it did take about 30 to 40 minutes to get them ready to go. More than two dozen pieces of equipment hit the roads around 5.30 this morning, and it wasn't the easiest process to remove all the snow. The snow is also causing problems with area construction projects. One of the delays is coming on some major construction on Interstate 90 through Austin. But MnDOT is also set to get some projects going on Monday. Leaders say they're not too concerned with how long these projects. The winter dance party is underway in Clear Lake with a jam-packed day full of events to celebrate the life of Buddy Holly, the Big Bopper, and Richie Valens. KIMT News 3's Natalie Tendall stopped by a very unique event. She has more now from Clear Lake. It will be at Pink in a local southern Minnesota community. The community of Austin is kicking off their second annual Paint the Town Pink event today. From ice fishing to hockey, events will be going on throughout the next 10 days to help raise money to battle breast cancer and raise awareness. Having raised more than $60,000 last year, event leaders say this is a battle everyone can get behind. The Freeborn County Fair is known for bringing in big names in country music, and this year is no exception. While the grandstand is empty right now, when the fair kicks off next week, these seats will be packed with people. This year's concert lineup includes Kelly Pickler, Dustin Lynch, and Washington to present a solution to end the calls. The FTC has already received 230 submissions. The deadline is 5 p.m. Eastern Time on January 17th to send in ideas. The winner will be announced on April 15th. Starbucks is headed to Vietnam, the Seattle Bay. It's a day of celebration for more than one billion Catholics around the world. A live report from the Vatican is coming up. But first tonight, a developing story out of North Iowa. Some elementary schools. With so much going on today, many just don't know what to make of it. <laughs> Last night we felt. Okay, see, so I was supposed to drop the whole thing in the plastic yes. tube in. Okay. Yep, you, yeah, I can see where you think to dump it in the I'm other sorry. way. But, you know, it's one of those things you get that explosive reaction. With a look now at what we have coming up at 6, I want to check in now with anchor Sarah Danik in the newsroom. Sarah, what can we expect at 6? Marion Ross, who played Mrs. Cunningham on the TV show Happy Days, is back in her hometown. Yeah, Mrs. C spent much of her childhood in Albert Lee. Some local kids have something to smile about today. The Good Samaritan Dental Clinic is a service provided by the Rochester Salvation Army. Today they're hosting an event called Give Kids a Smile. It's for children from families who don't have dental insurance and can't otherwise receive proper care. And the program goes far beyond basic oral hygiene. Authorities say they won't be releasing any details soon about what caused the deaths of Lyra Cook and Elizabeth Collins. The two cousins' bodies were found in a park 25 miles from their Evansdale homes. The colleague get at six. Would you agree with that? Am I, I as cool as the Fonz? A. A. You get an A plus. Oh, great. I don't know. Thanks for that. Happy Days <laughs> the Musical runs tight and other people said, ah, who cares? Yeah, you get a mix of everything. <laughs> some people are really into it. I'm I, excited I don't for understand them. how some people are really into yeah, it. I just move I, on. I you know. find it. 
a world event that happened. Yes, I agree. <laughs> That's a look at what we have here for you. Always a nice way to start off the uh, North Iowa Band Festival Parade, the Trombone Fanfare, a tribute to Meredith Wilson's song, 76 Trombones Let the Big Parade.